All right, guys, I have been testing out this Galaxy S25 Ultra, and I absolutely love this phone. But I have had issues with this device overheating. And I went ahead and bought this Galaxy S25 Ultra as well to test out. And ironically, I am having the exact same issue. Now, I do want to mention that I went ahead and resolved mostly the overheating issues on this Galaxy S25 Ultra. So what I want to do with this Galaxy S25 Edge is try the same solutions on this phone because those issues are also impacting me on this phone. And for me personally, it is the official YouTube application. The YouTube application is what is causing my phone to overheat. And I don't know if it's just YouTube premium members or what, but YouTube is definitely a problem with the Galaxy phones. So I just wanna show you guys a couple of things here. Now, by resolving the overheating issue, you will probably resolve any battery issues as well. Typically your batteries will have a lot of issues if you are having heating issues. So let's go ahead and jump into it guys. I will show you what I do whenever I get a new Galaxy phone, especially the new Galaxy phones. And if you are having this issue and this resolves that particular issue for let me know. I want to hear your thoughts down below. All right, let's get it. All right, now at the very beginning guys, you will see some things here I do that you will be like, yes, of course you've done that. I've done that as well, but stick through the entire video because there may be some solutions on here that you do not know about. So the very first thing I highly recommend you guys doing is going ahead and turning on dark mode. Dark mode will allow your phone to use less power and the less power you use, the less your phone will heat up. So by having a darker wallpaper and a darker theme, your phone will typically use less power since this is an AMOLED display. So I highly recommend you guys turning on dark mode and maybe even running a darker wallpaper. Now, let's also jump down to settings and go to software update and just make sure you are on the latest software version. I have noticed that on these new Galaxy S25 series devices, the June 1 update is miles better with the new i7, battery life and overheating. So yes, make sure you are running the latest software update. And then you will want to jump back to settings again, go to about phone, go to software information, and then locate the Google Play system update option. Click on that and just make sure that you are running the latest version of the Google Play update as well. Now guys, this is where it gets juicy. What I want you to do is head over to the Samsung App Store and what you want to download is the Samsung Good Guardians application. Now online, there have been a lot of people who say that this particular application does not run very well on their phone and it slows it down and it gives them worse battery life, etc. For me, that is definitely not the case. I highly recommend you guys install this. Now, once you install it, go ahead and launch it. And once you install it, I recommend downloading these three extensions. And once you have downloaded these extensions, allow this particular application to run in the background on your phone for a few days and allow this system to get used to the overheating situations on your phone and also how your battery is being used. Now we'll just jump to each one very quickly. The first one is the battery tracker option. This just tracks exactly what you are doing with your battery and it'll tell you exactly what battery usage is being used by what. So I just like that this particular battery tracker application is a lot better than the built-in battery tracker application via the battery settings. So we wanna install that. And then we also want to download the battery guardian option. And within the battery guardian option, just look through here and see if there's anything you can do that may benefit you. So for example, extend battery life, you can click on that and look at the different options that they recommend. For me personally, I don't really mess with this too much, but it is an option. Like I said, dark mode is the very first option there because dark mode definitely helps you save battery. But we'll jump back here. And like I said, there are a lot of different options along with tips and stuff there. So take a look at that guys and see if this helps you. But last but not least, the Thermal Guardian is what you want. This is a game changer. So within the Thermal Guardian, it gives you a line graph here of temperature thresholds and temperatures that are over that threshold. It tells you what application is problematic or event is problematic during a certain time period. So for example, whenever I click on this first one here, it tells me what 
cause the temperature to rise. So if I click on high CPU usage, I bet money YouTube is in here. And it indeed is. And what you want, want to do is click that plus icon with the menu icon there, and you will want to restrict the application. And what this does is it allows this, this particular application to restrict CPU speed within a particular application. Now, like I said, on my Galaxy S25 Ultra, I did this and it helped immensely. So go ahead and apply that. And if you notice any issues with the YouTube application, like I said, I personally have not, then just turn this off, but this has helped me dramatically. And I am not too worried about the other application. That was something I was doing at that time, so I'm not surprised that I heated it up. And then last but not least, it says that the environment was a part of the reason. But you can go inside of here and check the list and see what other applications were problematic. And each time it was either charging, environment, or YouTube. So you definitely want to limit YouTube's CPU speed. I haven't noticed any differences with playing 4K HDR videos or anything like that, or scrolling or anything like that. So you should have no problems there. So the Thermal Guardian application is amazing. There is also another tab here that allows you to see more information and there's all kinds of different things in here. So like I said, play around with it guys, especially if you are like me and the YouTube application is the reason why you were having issues, this will definitely help you. Now, one thing I also recommend doing that will save you a lot of battery life and allow your phone to run cooler is by running the light performance profile. So if you go into your settings and locate the performance profile option, the phone starts in the standard configuration. And if you turn it to light, it even says it prioritizes battery life and cooling efficiency over processing speed. But by doing this, it changes your profile whenever you typically use the phone outside of gaming and it allows your phone to stay cooler longer. Now, I have personally not noticed any issues with running light mode. Depending on who you ask, I'm sure somebody's going to say how the performance was limited or whatever. But for me, the phone still runs insanely smooth. I don't have any issues at all running the light performance mode. So I personally run this 24 seven to give myself the best performance and the best battery life. So you won't have any issues at all running this particular setup. As you guys see here, it's running fast, no issues at all. So definitely look into running on the light performance profile. Now, if you're still having issues, locate the particular application that you are having issues with and access the settings for that particular application. And what you can do is you can go down to the battery option and play around with the different battery restrictions. I personally typically just run on the restricted option for YouTube specifically. And then I will also jump down to the app details and store and just uninstall YouTube, reinstall it. A lot of times that will fix the issue or if there's an update, run the update. And then you can also jump over to storage, clear cache and clear data. And a lot of times that will fix your issues with that particular application as well. And for me, I prefer to leave this option on for YouTube itself because I have YouTube premium and I do do some background stuff. But if it's an application you don't really care about that's causing issues, you can also turn off the allow background usage option. Now I have done this for a lot of other applications as well. And that particular setting will assist you with saving battery life and keep your phone cool as well. So just take a look at that and see if that's something you want to do for that particular application or other applications on your phone. And while you are in here, just check your permissions and make sure you're not allowing the location setting on your applications either, unless you really need them to, because that will also have an impact on your phone's calling and battery life. You can also jump into your display settings and turn down the resolution and turn down the adaptive smoothness, but I would highly recommend you not doing that. I typically run quad HD and 120 Hertz, and I will not change that. Last but not least, what you can do is fully shut down your phone. And what we're going to do is wipe the cache partition. So what this does is it wipes the cache of all of your applications on your phone. And that'll typically assist with your phone's battery and cooling issues. And you can do this on the Samsung phone by holding up the volume button and holding the power button at the same time and just keep holding it. And it takes you to this screen. And what you will want to do is use the volume down option until you hit 
wipe cache partition. And once you have that selected, just hit the power button and it says, are you sure you want to do this? Choose yes. And then just go all the way down to the bottom and choose power off with the power button. That will just wipe all of the cache on your phone and it will typically resolve a lot of issues with cooling and battery life issues. And then all you have to do is turn it back on and boom. Sorry, choose reboot now instead of power off and if I'm will reboot. So yeah, guys, that is what I do. That is how I keep my Galaxy phones running a lot cooler. Now, it is not a perfect solution. There are situations where YouTube goes rogue and a lot of times you just have to swipe up and swipe away the application and that helps it. Or you may have to clear the cache every once in a while. But that is typically what I do that allows my Galaxy phones to run a lot smoother and run a lot cooler at the exact same time. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. But I appreciate you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.